Well, even if you had answered, I would have come over anyway. I mean, I wanted to talk to either you or your husband about this robbery. Oh, I'm just speechless. I mean, just the fact that someone robbed this place despite a $5,000 burglar alarm system, that's bad enough. Don't blame it on the system. I think your husband was very careless with those identification numbers. But they returned everything. That's what amazes me. Who ever heard of a burglar that returned everything? Are you sure nothing is missing? I mean, did you make that inventory list? Yes, everything's there. So, do you have any leads? Well, we have some very good ideas. Well, I hope you catch him. Although, since he returned everything, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? No, Mrs. Whitney. It does matter. What do you think of these? Oh, well, Carlo, I think they're marvelous. Oh, you were right about that backlighting. This is great. Yeah. I'm glad they turned out so well, considering that this is my farewell performance. Your what? I don't know any easy way to say this, Valerie. I've hinted at the possibility before, but now it's a reality. Do you mean you've decided to close the studio? No, I'm leaving the studio. Whether it closes or not is entirely up to you. assignment is complete and I have paid the rent until the end of the month. Valerie, I would like to talk to Mr. Cron personally, if you please. Sure, I was just really. I uh have a dinner date. Carlo Valerie, I will talk to you before we go. Okay? And I want you to think about what we talked about. Exactly tell the truth, darling. I have said goodbye to you. I haven't said yet. That's why I'm here. So you think that the thief was Collier Wells, the same Paris? Well, vaguely. I know that Martine and her husband were entertaining for my husband. Well, Martine was the entertainer. While she was dancing downstairs, her husband was upstairs doing his routine in the bedroom. Unfortunately for him, this time he was careless enough to be caught. So you think he was doing the same thing here again? I think he did it as a gesture. I think he just wanted to prove that he could do it. Nothing more. Oh, you men, you certainly play some silly games. Well, women have been known to play a few themselves. Well, anyway, uh, since everything was returned, I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? I'm sure your jewelry is very important to you. Yes, yes, some of it has um, a lot of sentimental value. Excuse me, Mrs. Whitney. I just wanted to tell you I'm on my way to the theater to pick up Mr. Whitney. All right. Uh, Spencer, this is Damien Tyler. Uh, this is Spencer. He's working for us now. Spencer? Is that a first name or a last name? It's my first name, sir. My full name is Spencer Varney. Yes, Spencer is the reason that I don't have to worry about a $5,000 burglar alarm system anymore. Well, that's quite a responsibility. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Tyler is also in the protective business, only he works for the Monticello Police Department. He's a detective. Well, that's uh, quite a responsibility as well, sir. I'd better get started, Mrs. Whitney. It was nice to meet you, Mr. Detective Tyler. So that's Gunther's replacement? Mm-hmm. I think he's an improvement, don't you? It's strange. What? Well, that man's face looks very familiar. In fact, his name sounds very familiar. In 
mixed up with Sharky before that incident in East Meadows at the Rexford Clinic, but whoever thought she'd run into him again? Yeah, and he was a celebrity, no less, a genuine fugitive from the law. Yeah, well, he's back in prison now, and I hope this time they put a stronger lock on the place. <laughs> I also hope that Bobby doesn't wind up there, too. Then I got a pretty good idea that Bobby's gonna be all right. Well, she did help Gavin run from the cops. That's got to be some kind of crime. It is. It's called aiding and abetting a criminal. Hey there, kid. You sound like a lawyer yourself. Uh, my uncle's a lawyer, but he's also the DA. Ooh. That's where I get the idea that Bobby's gonna be all right. Sounds to me like you got the inside track. Okay, okay. Listen, I, I heard a, a comment, an unofficial comment, all right? Bobby's told the police everything that she knows in exchange for a guarantee of immunity. Therefore, she's going to be all right. Oh, I see you got a new waitress. Missy, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she's doing okay. Of course, I could use an extra hand now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, well, there is a very pretty lady coming in here, oh, lucky yeah? you. How are you tonight, honey? Huh. Well, actually, I'm in a bit of a fog. Something wrong? Oh, it's business worries. You two want a drink before dinner? Ah, uh, nothing for me, thanks. How about you, though? No, I would just like a nice big salad, Sid. That's all. Like, is it with women nowadays? All they do is worry about their figures. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll make you feel better, Sid. How about a uh, baked fig steak, sour cream, oh. chives, uh, spinach? You know, just give me the left side of the kitchen. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Preoccupied look. Now, what are all these business problems? Oh, nothing much. I've just learned that I'm out of a job. Oh, no, no, really? Remember I told you about uh, Carlo hinting that he was going to leave? Yeah. Well, he made it definite tonight. He's closing the studio and he's leaving Monticello immediately. What's wrong with that guy? I don't know. But... Well, at least he's given me good credentials for another job. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened to the uh, idea about you taking over the photo studio? It's impractical, Kelly. I would never be able to hold on to his clients. They all know me as his assistant. Okay, you wouldn't be able to hold on to his clients, but you can add new ones of your own as soon as you prove yourself. It takes a lot more than just developing pictures to run a photo studio. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You'd have to do all that, those business things, wouldn't you? And that's, that's really a man's job. Well, I certainly didn't mean that. No, no, that, that's true. You'd have to... You'd have to become a business person as well as a shutterbug, and who knows if you could handle it. Well, who do you think took care of all the studio business while Carla was out taking all those wonderful pictures? Well, then. Oh, Kelly, I don't know. I just suddenly feel so all alone again. You really know how to hurt a guy. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Instead of thinking this is an ending, we should treat it like a beginning. And that calls for a celebration. It does? Absolutely. Missy? Yeah? Could we have a, um, a split of champagne? What? A, a split of champagne, very dry, nice and cold, okay? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Sid. Yeah, honey? Uh, is there anybody else having a bottle of champagne tonight? Champagne? <laughs> Are you kidding? Why? Because the couple at table two wants to split one with them. Two, one split of champagne. Thank you, Missy. Yes. Uh, you're supposed to show us the bottle. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you're supposed to show us the label, too. Yeah. See? Champagne. <laughs> uh, you think you know how to open it? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't really know what a split of champagne was. I mean, such a silly name for a small bottle. What do you think about it? <laughs> well, don't feel bad, Missy. You should hear the funny name they have for the large bottle. Yeah, like Jeroboam. Right. Uh, uh, why don't you let me help you with that, okay? Yeah. I wish they put uh, screw tops on those things. Hey, good idea. I'll write them and tell them. <laughs> now, I think the last time I heard the word split was in dance class. Do you take dance classes, Missy? I took everything. I took dance class, singing class, acting class. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite accomplished. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you did fun. I will take care of you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
are crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I should have taken foreign classes, too. I'll take care of that. I'm really sorry, Sid. You take care of the customers who just came in. Do I have to? Table for one? Uh, hi, Missy. Uh, how are you doing? Will this be all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this will be great. Well, actually, on second thought, uh, this is terrible. Uh, this is a table for two. All our tables for two are tables for one. That's very profound, Missy. Of course, I could take the chair away, and it would be a table for one. I, of course, if you don't think this is a class A table... Oh, no, no, it's, 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 it's fine. It's, it's wonderful. It's the most beautiful table in Monticello. How are you, Missy? The special is Beef Wellington. Hey, did you know that uh, a Wellington is also a boot? I bet you there's a joke in there somewhere. I just am crazy about restaurant jokes. Waiter, what is the fly doing in my soup? Oh, he's doing the backstroke, sir. <laughs> That's very good. I got what? Waiter, <clears throat> there's a needle in my soup. No, sir. That's not a needle. That's a typographical error. Why don't you get it? I see, needle is N-E-E-D, and noodle is N-O-O-D, so what the waiter really thought was... I'm going to get the menu now. Missy, sit down. Look, this is silly. A lifelong friendship down the drain because of one stupid remark? Oh, you'll probably think of another one. But I didn't mean it, really. I think you're a very attractive woman. Why do you think I came back here? It wasn't for the beef Wellington. You didn't know we were going to have it. If you did, you would have had the joke ready. When's your next night off? I want to take you out. No, thank you. Why not? Well, let's just say you're not my idea of a class A date. Wait. Please? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we can go see a play. What play? Well, we'll just, just name it. Uh, I'm very good friends with the drama editor on the Monticello News. The revival of the Glass Menagerie? Fifth Row Center. Well, is it a deal? All right. But only under one condition. I should name it, anything. <laughs> I'm just going to see the play. I don't want you to talk to me, and I don't want to talk to you either. Missy, what do you mean I can't talk? I have to talk. I'm a lawyer. So much flack in the mayor's office on this wagon case, you'd think it was the crime of the century, for crying out loud. Actually, it's nothing more than an unfortunate tragedy. I have been told that these two kids are making my department look like a bunch of incompetents. He had the nerve to inform me that Gavin Wiley was not a career criminal, but rather that he was a dancer. Meaning uh, he should be easy to find because he hasn't had any experience as a fugitive? What his honor doesn't realize is that career criminals are easier to locate than the amateurs. Of course, professional criminals have records. Absolutely, they, you know, they're associates, you know, they're hangouts, you know, they're hang-ups. They might not be a lot easier if Gavin Wiley just given himself up. Would he be better off than he is now? Uh, forget I said that, of course he would. I know things look pretty bleak for him. It's been a man killed. Somebody's got to pay the price for that. Exactly, and I think Wiley had better have himself a very good lawyer. I think you're right. Hello. Ed, you're supposed to screen all those calls for me. I can't. All right, if you think so. The woman who says she knows where Gavin Wiley is. Police Chief Derek Mallory speaking. Hey, <laughs> you wouldn't be pulling my leg now, would you? Is Rudy the chief? Yes, this is. What can I do for you? Ask not what you can do for me, but what I can do for you, honey bun. Look, I know you're dying to get your hands on that kid who killed that big guy over in the dance studio. I know exactly where he is. Listen, could I have your name and address, please? Hey, I'm not that stupid. Hey, listen. Everybody I talk to over in your place says they're not giving no reward for that kid. Listen, ma'am, if you know anything about this case, you'd be doing yourself and us a big favor. I don't do nobody no favors. Ain't nobody ever done me one. But I'd like to make a deal with you. Are you interested? Yeah, I'm... Oh, hell, like 
I said, I know exactly where Gavin Wiley is. Him and his girl. He's got a girl with him in case you didn't know. Yeah, go on. Well, if he could guarantee me a couple of bucks, you know, I'll say something like a thousand dollars for dinner. Uh, all right, I can guarantee that personally. Now, what do you know? It's real simple, Sugar Lips. My name is Mrs. Arnold. I live at 17 North Evergreen. Get a You stay right where you are. I'm on my way. And bring the money, honey. done you a very large favor. Really? Yes, if it hadn't been for my little caper at the Whitney Mansion, you wouldn't have resumed your dancing career so soon. At least not with the Whitney Dance Company. There are many other dance companies, Carlo. Yes. I know. Just look at your triumph. You know there's not a dance company in the country that wouldn't welcome you with open arms? The future looks very good. What about your future? Nice of you to ask. My future looks very nice. What are you going to do? Don't worry, darling. I'm not going to resume my life of crime. Let me tell you something. The old adage has proved true. Crime doesn't pay. I thought you always did pretty well. I was good at my profession. But there's more to burglary than skill, to deal with a lot of people. Dishonest fences, crooked politicians, rival burglars. It's another thing that's proved true. There's no honor among thieves. Going to give it up? I gave it up years ago, my love. That performance at the Whitney Mansion was precisely that, performance. And what about your friend, Carlo Crown, are we going to continue with him? Why not? Oh, I'm very glad. Very glad to hear this. Well, I won't have to worry about you anymore, I guess. I won't have to shed any more tears for you, right? Why are you crying now? Because you are a fool, and I am a much bigger fool. story of my life. I have lost two more men that I have loved. Carly Wells, Carlo Crown. Did I hear the word love? Allez-vous, Monsieur Wells. Very well, thank you. At least I was until a moment ago. As of this moment, you are under arrest. No. Friend. 